What is going on team? We are home right now. I know you've been wondering where day four of behind the scenes is. It's this video. Wanted to spend a little bit of time enjoying Miami, hanging out with people and friends and uh, just in having, you know, chill time. However, just want to start off this video by saying that launch 10 of Hustle Made is live. The balloon tease. And the cookie. This is obviously Craig's jumper. <laughs> but I'm all about the comfort life with jet lag. <laughs> And now live at www.hustlemade.com. These designs have been put together to help and support Rainbow's Hospice, which is a children's hospice near us. And um, every one of you that purchases a t-shirt or a jumper, you're going to be helping the kids. So awesome. Down below in the description, we've put a link to the hospice. We've also put a link to the hustlemade.com if you want to go get something. It's long sleeve though. Look at it. This looks good. This is a new one. <laughs> this is a new one. Um, yeah, enjoy the video, smash the like button. Day four behind the scenes. Good morning, Sammy. Oh my gosh, dangerous. What is going on here today? Because um, we're making pancakes. So I got a little blueberry compote to put on top of your pancakes. Because who doesn't love blueberries? That is very exciting. Lovely little backdrop we've got here. I think this is the nicest like spot I've ever cooked. Three days of competition down, one day left. How are you feeling? Dude, I feel great. <laughs> I haven't done anything all week. I've just been hanging out, having a good old time. Matt's gone undercover today. He's going camo and camo again. Your ideal pancake topping? Probably bananas and chocolate. Like chocolate chips and bananas on top. So you get the meltedness. Yeah. Hey, Dan. Yo. So Eddie Hall did it as about in 49 seconds. What are yeah. your thoughts? Uh, that's absolutely amazing. That's, that's fantastic. It's not Grace, but it is Isabel, and 49 seconds is uh, borderline untouchable, I would think, by most uh, stretch of the imagination. And the great thing about it too is like, it's like the perfect combination to me. He's he's a, obviously a strong man, so the weight is absolutely nothing to him, but he does have to move it pretty far. He's what, 6'2", six, 6'3", six, somewhere around there? He's a giant dude, like okay. nearly as the size of you. Oh, thank you, I appreciate that. Yeah. Wait, who got what time? He beat your time? Eddie Hall did Isabel in 49 seconds. Wow! Yeah. How does it make you I think feel? The fastest time, me? That's I'm like 20, that. 20 seconds faster than you, Dan. Well, yeah, but I did Grace. Yeah. In one minute. Oh, this is Isabel. Okay, yeah. the snatch. Okay, the snatch. Yeah. You're right. I'll yeah, it makes all the difference. Yeah, he would actually done it in 48 back then. Totally. Yeah, I would have done 48. Yeah. Isabel. Absolutely. Sure, but no. <laughs> Absolutely. No, that's absolutely awesome. How happy did that make? Oh, is that peanut butter on the top? Salmon butter on top. This just made me so happy. This is amazing. Oh my god. She only did a lot of it. Mm-hmm. Literally just started getting us a bowl in Iceland. Like, what, they started a half a year ago? A year ago or something? Yeah. And I've been obsessed since. I remember the first time I saw one. Yeah, they, they, they wanted to be Irish this year, remember? So they, they were yeah. there a year ago. If you say a kind. Nana. Nana. So I had to go in there to get her stuff. Oh, look at that! Look at this in Oh! Come China. Oh, there he is. China, look, you look badass walking down there. Thank you. She's yeah. so badass. The hair. The hair. Who did whose hair? Um, I did all of it. Not. <laughs> I put my ponytail in. No, Ashley Davis, oh, Chance's wife, did her hair. She's like amazing. She did Hillary's, me, Haley, Tasia. You see braided hair, it's her. Yeah. Look good, perform good. Right. Or look crappy, perform great. So yeah. it doesn't have anything to do with looks for me. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to at the games after we finished the swim workout on Sunday. Everyone, like all the girls, went back their and their shower and blew, blew out the hair and we had everything. Swamp hair. We laid down with our nasty hair and went to the final like that. <laughs> Everyone looks really so good gross. though at the end, and we were just like. I got, I got, I got the hair zero fade and the beard like shaved. So I wouldn't have to do anything for the next 13 days while I'm here. So by the time I get home, it'll be time for grooming again. S strategy. Final day, man. We're uh, fifth place, so got to try to make a run. It's moving day. It's moving day. Hopefully up. For sure up. Yeah. For sure. I would hate to move down. That'd break my heart, man. But yeah, man, it's been good. How y'all feeling? Like the last couple of days. Wait. Whoopa. What is going on team? Welcome to the fourth and final day of Waterpalooza. We've had six workouts, two today. Um, starting off the day, we're just going to have a quick look at the leaderboard. On the male side, Cole Sager, 
578 points. Currently 64 points ahead of second place Patrick Vellner. It kind of looks like Cole, if he doesn't make a mistake in these next two workouts, he's kind of sealed the deal already. The female side, Tia Claire Toomey is leading, but only by 16 points over Sarah Sigmund's daughter today. Again, two pretty fast workouts. It's been close all weekend. I, I don't see that changing. And then today there's a fight for third between Carrie Pierce and Amanda Barnhart. Separated by four points going into today. They look like they've separated themselves from the rest of the field. And then the team side. Yesterday again, Mayhem and Team Gowad back and forth, back and forth. They're going into the final day, the final two events separated by two points. 559 points for Team Mayhem who are currently on top. 557 for Team Gowad. Basically it comes down to you're gonna have to stay ahead of the other team. It's a fun one today. The first one is a deadlift and burpee ladder. Pretty heavy. And the cool thing is they're using metal plates. So there's no bounce. Clanging and banging. So without further ado, let's go behind the scenes, smash that like button and uh, roll the intro whilst John enjoys the view. It's a nice truck. <laughs> Like just suck it up man, like let's go. The burpees were so slow, I was like legit And then the nines, I actually like failed a dead leg at the six. And I had to, I had to, I was gonna hold, you know, if it's individual you just hold and come down. But feet started going down, so I was like Dude, I was so hype. I was so hype. I saw you get told off and sent back to the yeah, to the start line. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta risk it to get a little. I was like screaming at them. They were like, couldn't probably not hear me, but I was just so jacked up because I didn't really expect us. Run. run, run back. You play that theme song, you know, yeah. where it's like run and it's like da 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 da. Grips, you got everything? I got it. I got you. Look at you, Dre. I got them. I got them. Man, I feel like garbage. My legs just don't exist. I think everything feels like garbage, but my quads are so bad that everything else feels good. Good morning, brother. How did you get back from the stage? I don't know, I don't know, I can't remember anything. I literally can't remember how I got back up there, I like blacked out. Heat 18, RX Mix, please check in. Heat 18, RX Mix, please check in. So rude. <laughs> Always on the ground, I put in work with all my might. I know that he got me, got me, got me, not by sight. Yeah. Oh my god, I need a stick to keep my back straight, my legs, everything, midline, goners, done mate, the heavy wall balls to do next, get in, can't we? Did you at least win? No, I came second I think in that heat, but some of the boys man, they're so strong and fit, as soon as you have five seconds break, bam, there's some places gone. Oh, my booty and my feet are burning mm -hmm. in a good way. I didn't, I didn't hear if she gave me a no wrap. Yeah. Uh, but when shoot. I finished, because you know you finish on the other side. Yeah. yeah. She's like eight, and I'm like, but I no, should be finishing. If it was eight, I'd be on this side. Yeah. yeah. So I just like did another really fast one, and I was like, ah. Uh. Yeah. And then you know we're like constantly you and me and Travis. Yeah. I'm just like. And I'd go ahead and then you guys would bump in and then I'd bump well, I, in. I was trying to like steer around your bar. Well, because I'd, I'd be deadlifting off. by the time you guys would roll. Yeah, exactly. So you're trying to avoid my bar like coming down on top. People have been saying more coal, more coal. So how was that? Oh, thanks. That's good. That's good. Uh, no, I, uh, I performed just about how I 
how my preparation has played. You know, deadlifts have always been an area of mine that I I work really hard on. Thank you so much, Anton. Thank you. Um, so, um, so with it, yeah, no, I'm happy. Like that's that's what I do each event is I just go out and I give my best, smile a lot, enjoy the crowd because you only get this for a short season of life. You know what I mean? Yeah. How's the metal plates? Do they they pay a big difference or a small difference? Uh, not as big of a difference as most people were thinking they would. There was a lot of talk, a lot of chatter at the uh, in the back, like those those heavy metal plates are gonna you're gonna take the bounce out of it. It's gonna be a lot harder. But you gotta remember they have rubber matting out there, so even though they're they're metal plates, there's a little bit of rubber, so you get a little bit of bounce still. So it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. Just a heavy barbell and yeah. burpees. Yeah. yeah so Which is bad. It. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you get it? Yeah, you guys haven't been on any of the behind the scenes yet, so now... Okay. Oh, okay. Hey, hey. hey honey. Hi. Hi What's going on, Craig? How's it going for you? Dude, so uh, that must put homeboy yeah, in I think contention. That puts, it's going to be a tight final. Well, as we were going into it, we were like, the only way Cole's not going to win this is if he has a terrible event. Cut to... I wouldn't say it was terrible, but you know. Could have gone better. What are you thinking? That was awesome. I yeah. needed that. Wanted to not really look to the left and the right. Just freaking go. And you friggin' went. Day's, day's not over. <laughs> Still plenty. Plenty of points on the board. And it's a great workout for me, so I gotta keep my head in it. Get after it. I saw an initial it so you don't forget who it is because <laughs> I know what it's like. Guys, Richie, yeah. Can we take a selfie yeah. real quick yeah. now that this you're This is uh, ready. Shane Richie. Can we take Thanks. Right here, guys. <laughs> but, but. Hey, do, I, do I fit in there? Awesome. Thanks, Congratulations. Guys. You're now part of Team Richie. Part Team Richie, I am. Hey, Team Richie, over here. Let's talk about your story last night. Uh, my story last. Oh, uh, the Eclair. Yeah, I went to. Pat was like feeling a little sorry for himself. So I was like, would you like an Eclair in his face? Like, Claire's like chocolate eclairs? Like, yeah. So anyway, he was eating cold eclairs. He didn't do anything else for his recovery. He just ate eclairs and went to bed. But <laughs> and, then, and then he and then I would just like to say he won this morning. So take personal credit for that. Yeah. <laughs> you literally didn't even go and cool down. I really didn't, and I didn't eat anything. I could probably go for some carbs. You got any carbs in your pockets? No. no. Dang it. You failed me. Now we'll film an update from somewhere else. Just give me five. Sometimes the sick content, you just need a minute. The update is, there was so much excitement this morning that I need a small nap. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back with the real vlog in a couple of seconds. We're back in the room. All right. I didn't realize how comfor comfortable hammocks were. I think that may have been the first time I've ever been in a hammock. Not even lying. 27 years and I ain't experienced a hammock. Anyway, I'm gonna eat my words. This morning, I, I thought Cole Sager had it wrapped up, but in that deadlift burpee ladder, he took a 19th place. He got 42 points. Patrick Vauner took a first, he got 100 points. That means now there's only six points separating Patrick Vauner and Cole Sager going into this final event on the leaderboard. Seven events, one event left, all comes down to, to this one on the male side. If you think about it, it's kind of crazy. Pat takes first, Cole takes second in this workout. I believe it goes to Pat due to him having more overall wins throughout the weekend. All to play for. Wow. That is like James Bond. It's my Uber boats. <laughs> what we gotta do to earn that sort of money, team, eh? You know what it is? You gotta sell a Get Rich Quick book telling people that they gotta sell get rich quick books to sell get rich quick books to get rich quick. You know the thing team though, you know when you have like a big boat, there's always gonna be someone with a bigger boat. So enjoy your boat. <laughs> anyway, back to the leaderboard. Noah Olsen is now in, his start to the weekend wasn't the greatest. He sat 30 points ahead of Travis Williams. So as long as he gets a good solid finish in this one, it looks like he's on the podium. Saxon Panchik is in fifth and now he's in the game spot. Travis Williams 
He's going as a team, as we found out earlier. I thought he was going for individual, but I completely got that wrong. So it looks like if Saxon Panchik gets a good finish in this one, he's going to the games. On the female side, Tia Claire Toomey extended her lead this morning to 32 points. She absolutely dominated the field in the deadlift burpee ladder, crushed it. I was scared watching. I was like, I wouldn't want to judge her. Nope. Sarah took a fourth in that event, meaning that at the moment she's on 676 points, 40 points ahead of third place Carrie Pierce. That top three looks pretty solid. And then on the elite teams, Mayhem Freedom won this morning's event. As long as they stay in the top two in this one, which they have pretty much all weekend, it looks like they'll be going home with a top spot. Workout nine is called Celebrate Life, and it's for a teen CrossFit athlete that passed away this year, Jacob Morris. It's in memorial of him, and I think that's a super cool way to finish off the event, you know? 50 wall balls, 40 calorie ski, 30 dumbbell snatch, 20 box jump overs, 15 bar muscle ups. The top athlete should be going unbroken on this, which means that it's not a strategy workout as such. It's more of a how much do you want it workout. Whew. And then you know those, it's just how hard you're gonna push. Did you just, that was a race. Yeah, it was a stressful race. I've never seen you run so fast. They, I like touch the button, they touch the button a half second later. You might not be the biggest celebrator. No. You know, someone needs to take that video and put a cape on the back. <laughs> Dude, I was like, I don't even know. I didn't even know, I was just like, I'm going as fast as I can to hit this button. Let's see. We, oh God, we came 12 for that workout, that's not great. So we came 12 for the workout. And we, we did it. We're in fourth. Really? Yeah, we're in fourth. We're in fourth. Oh, no yeah, we did it. Oh my gosh. I was expecting right. way more of a cheer if I'm going to be. Oh. Because, because, I mean, it's just. I'm like crying. It's until it's official. I'm crying because I didn't know. Like, I thought I messed up. And I like, thought it was going to affect them. Good job, boys. Hey, hey, we did it! Oh my god, yes, good job! Go, 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 go. That was nerve-wracking. 0.03 of a second. That's... that's close. A little close. Did you touch the button? Uh, yes. I think, yeah, I think so. so um, somebody ran to number the other side, and we couldn't remember which button was which, so it was like, <laughs> press them all. A panic moment. But it wasn't really a panic, it was just press them all just in case. <laughs> Better to press too many than not enough. No, you didn't. Crushed it. Great weekend. How was that? Everything. Uh, it's been a fun weekend. And I, won't, I don't say all the work, none of the workouts were bad, but, but from 30,000 feet, they were all the same. That makes sense? Chase couldn't go to his first CrossFit Games ever. Uh, it's pretty awesome. So, How long have you trained with Chase? So Chase, when did you start CrossFit? When did I start? Yeah. I did a few workouts in 2010, but I don't think I really started until I was so we're, we're related, but not related. We're, we're not blood related. He's Hillary's uh, cousin, first cousin. And so for years, I tried to get him to do CrossFit. He's like, no, no, you know, it's stupid. Well then, I finally got him to do CrossFit, and then what, a week later, you moved to Knoxville? And so he started doing CrossFit in Knoxville, which is like an hour and a half away from us. And then, like what, a year later, opened a gym, like all this stuff, doing incredibly well for himself. It's a really cool gym. Uh, but then when the, the rules, he was actually going to be on independence. Um, when the rules weren't, you had to work all in the same, same place. But then when they changed the rules last year, it made it easier because he didn't have to commute as much. And so it's been cool to watch just the, the hard work he puts in, the transformation, super fit. So I'm excited. Happy for you, buddy. 10 Nicest years. Thing you've ever said. 10 yeah. years in the making. It's on camera now. So. Yeah. Can you guys send me that?
You threw your shoe into the crowd. In first place, I threw Jedi both my shoes Nelson. into the crowd. <laughs> I like, I've got new ones now. I like to do them all the time. Good job, buddy. Did you hit anyone? I, I, yeah, thank you. Uh, I didn't, I don't think. I think do you I aim for caught. someone? No, I don't. I definitely don't aim for someone. Do you throw it hard? No, I try not to, but I should have. I should have actually thrown harder because I almost like knocked someone out like too too early, so I should have like threw longer. Yeah. Not harder. Yes, I can't wait. Week off, Disney World, first time. Good girl. Good girl. Well done. Oh, you taste like champagne. How proud are you right now? Oh, so proud. So proud. Hey, you gotta thank this guy as well. Come on. That's my girl. I told you. Thank you so much. What did I say to you? Yeah, not my spreadsheet, that's on her spreadsheet. <laughs> I w hopefully I get a $5 out of that one. You need a pay rise. Yeah, yeah. Do you reckon you could ask her that? I, I don't think she'll let me on there. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Thank you. What did you just get? Sarah's shirt. Put it on. That is cool. Yeah. Best gift ever. <laughs> Are you now part of the police force? Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you so much. Guys. Congratulations Thank you again. So much. You Thank you. I'm hired. Yep. <laughs> hired. Definitely. Yep. Hired. Definitely. <laughs> so actually, just snowed in this one position all weekend. It's gonna be your worst joke of the weekend. It's, an, too. it's a natural phenomenon. Hey. That was as cold as ice. No, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I've got you a good one too. No, no, no. <laughs> you, you need to chill, bro. No. <laughs> and I was going to say we're going to end this vlog on a cool note. <laughs> I have nothing else. <laughs> I was trying to think. See you later, guys. See you later, guys. <laughs>